Rock Metal Nation, what is up? I just wanted to take a quick second to do a quick little timeout here before the episode starts. Today's episode features Second Echo from Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. They're a great band with lots of great things to say, and I know you're going to enjoy them. But I just wanted to take a quick moment to let Second Echo know, let all of our Rock Metal Nation listeners in Las Vegas know, that our hearts and our prayers are with all of you. Our hearts and our prayers are with all of the families affected by the recent events, and our hearts and our prayers are with all of our brothers and all of our sisters on Rock Metal Nation. God bless and rock on. The Rock Metal Podcast, episode 75, with Second Echo. Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That sample you just heard was Innocent by Second Echo, who I've got on the show with me right now. They're a grunge rock band from Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. We're going to be listening to that track as well as one other while finding more information about the band. Guys, welcome to the show. Hey, John. Thanks so much for having me having us here we're excited to be here very cool stuff thanks for being on let's go and listen to that track innocent Coming back from Innocent, big question for you. What's the story or inspiration behind the track, Innocent? Uh, Innocent, really, uh, when you when you listen to it, um, really comes across this kind of a having almost a, a political bent, but it's it's actually a very apolitical song. It's all about 
um, not depending on uh, government or anybody else to to fix your problems, just to kind of take ownership of your own life and to to really um, just to, to tackle your problems and find ways to, to solve them on your own. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm curious, what brought about the name of the track to be called Innocent? Really, really going back to, um, you know, just some some very specific uh, political topics when it comes to things like uh, religious freedom or abortion and things like that. You know, the idea of um, you always blame it on, you know, these, you know, people always say, I want to um, stand up for the, the the rights of people who don't have a voice, you know, and things like that. And so that, that idea of we're, we're trying to stand up for the innocent, but really all we're doing is kind of yelling really loud about it. We're really not doing anything to <laughs> help the innocent. We're just kind of yelling about people who don't want to help the innocent, <laughs> you know? So, um, man, this is, yeah, I, you're pulling me out of my shell a little bit here, John. It's <laughs> the most political I think I've ever gotten. And again, it's not political. It's, if anything, it's, like I said, it's apolitical. It's meant to be, uh, you know, the opposite of that. But I've been known to bring people out of their shells. What can I say? <laughs> Uh, now, obviously, going back into the the track itself, like just the contents of the music, was there anything unique about the writing process when you guys got together to write that track? So, um, Innocent was uh, really the entire album. Evolution is um, a compilation of some songs from a couple of earlier projects. So, Second Echo has been around for a while, and there's a a, a very old uh, album that we did in the early 2000s called Euphemia, and then another. Um, five song EP that we did in mid 2000s called Chosen Code and Evolution is really um, really a, a bunch of um, songs and pieces of songs from those two albums that I had taken and just wanted to refine and I felt like there were some parts that were really good but I wanted to just kind of bring the best out of them and Innocent is one of the songs it was a song off of the Euphemia album called Reasonable Doubt actually was the name of the song and I took it and um, used the same guitar riff uh, that we had used for that and uh, just, um, you know, the one that <laughs> day I was sitting down with it and just had that killer hook that, you know, blame it on the sound of the innocent and just really felt like I had something special there. So kind of just ran with it. Yeah. And I agree. I think it's a really catchy tune. It's really great tune. It's especially the uh, like the the rhythm section in the beginning is just so tight and it just makes you want to move. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I was going for. I love stuff that that just kind of rhythmically butts up against each other and just in a really cool way like that yeah yeah now for rock metal nation listening in who really dug that track if you go to the show notes for today that's gonna be www.therockmetalpodcast.ca you took a look at the show notes for today for a bonus there's a music video actually for innocent which is a very cool music video as well so my big question for you guys is what was the inspiration behind the music video maybe even the storyline behind it like what inspired from the song to the music video portion of it? Uh, again, just that idea of um, taking action uh, in your life and not just saying all the right things and not just even, you know, coming down to, I think it's great that we all have a right to, to, to speak and to protest and all those things. And I think that that's, uh, that can be very uh, crucial and very important at times, but nothing beats, you know, um, taking your hand and doing the work yourself and, and doing those things that you need to do uh, for your community, um, for your family. And so a lot of that storyline is how, um, you know, I think we, we like to, to think that, um, things like, uh, you know, even, even really ugly things like human trafficking and, and things like that are kind of these, uh, these things that are, are distant problems and they're, they're not really in the here and now, but really, um, they're not, you know, they, they kind of, they, they affect people probably closer than we want to admit and want to realize. Uh, so it's just about kind of being aware of the people around you and the needs that they have and being willing to, to, to do what you can to, uh, maybe put yourself out a little bit to be able to help them. Very cool stuff. Let's go listen to the next track. Strong enough. Rich man, rich man, 
Okay, coming back from Strong Enough. Similar question for you. What is the story or inspiration behind the track Strong Enough? So this one, um, this is kind of a uh, a stereotypical uh, musician rock song. Like I, there was this relationship I was in many many years ago, <laughs> and, and 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 it's funny you're laughing because like I'm sure that how many rock songs are are written about this, but I had I had gone through just numerous songs about this one relationship and how it ended poorly and all that kind of stuff. And so I, I got to a point where I was like, I'm, I'm sick of talking about this. I'm sick of writing about it. And none of the songs are really that good. I didn't, none of the songs are around anymore, you know? So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do one last song and just be done with it. Like, this is it. I'm not going to, not going to broach the subject again, you know? And so, um, just, you know, about this relationship that I kind of poured my heart into, um, the, the girl told me over and over again that I was, I was strong enough for, her and, uh, I believed her and it wasn't necessarily the case. <laughs> so, wow. Wow. Yeah. It's funny. You mentioned that, like this has been done before, but you know what? It's interesting is the, the uniqueness of the human experience is that regardless of how many fraught relationships we've all been in, we enjoy the songs of somebody else telling the tales of such woe. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, and it's amazing how just a way that a note is sang or just the way that the words are cobbled together, um, they, they speak to you in different ways, you know, so there might, it might be the, the exact same, uh, topic that you've heard a thousand times, but for some reason, just the way that that person put it together, just really kind of speaks to your heart and speaks to your soul. That's amazing to me. Yeah. And I agree. Is there anything unique about the writing process when you guys were working on strong enough? Yeah, this, I remember, um, when I, when I sat down and came up with this, it was the first time that I I tend to play and and write stuff a lot by ear. Um, but I, I remember specifically, I was sitting in, um, uh, in a college class and kind of just heard that the, the guitar riff in my head. And for the first time I I'd sat down and on paper, like wrote out the tab without my guitar in my hand, which kind of was amazing to me because I'd never done that before. So it was kind of cool that I was able to kind of not only hear it, but see it and kind of physically write it out. And as soon as I got home, I ran home and picked up my guitar and was like, Oh yeah, that's, that's what it was, you know? So it was kind of a very unique in that way that it was, it was a very tangible experience for me. You weren't just strong enough. It turns out that you're actually Neo. You're actually the one you can actually (laughs) write. (laughs) <laughs> right tab without everything there. I don't know why that came to mind, but it was the first thing that came to mind. Like, and then I realized, I just imagine like you're looking at your hands and all of a sudden you see the screen and you can read it, you know? Right, right. And like my veins are like the, the guitar strings and I can see like something weird like that. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, what exciting news do you guys have coming up for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to? Our album Evolution uh, just came out a few um, – uh, September 8th was the date that uh, it was released uh, by – Spectra and Tabletop. Um, very excited about them being behind us on this project. And uh, just lots of shows we're trying to get booked. We have a, an album release show um, November 4th that's uh, coming up. Uh, it's going to be in the around Dayton, Ohio area. That's kind of our hometown uh, with another couple of great bands. Uh, one is called Rock Is Not Dead is the name of the band. And then Salvador Ross are coming out uh, and playing with us. Um, just lots of, lots of exciting things coming up for the new year. Um, been writing, uh, some new music, um, and hoping to just get out and, uh, kind of hit the road some more and do some more shows. Very cool stuff. All right. So rock Nation, if you dug what you've heard so far, then you've got to have the album, which just came out on September 8th. And then also as well, they've released that with Spectre and tabletop next is gonna be lots of shows coming up, including an album release show. And you said it was November 4th, November 4th. Yep. Fantastic. November 4th in Dayton, Ohio. So if you are in the uh, Dayton, Ohio area, then you definitely want to go ahead and check out that album release party because it was going to be a fantastic time. Now, the next logical question is for Rock Metal Nation listening in, is there a website that they should go to to find out more about you guys? Absolutely. You can go to secondechomusic.com and that's going to have all of our shows. Um, we do I do a, a combination of full band shows. Um, I do some solo acoustic stuff. Um, and, uh, also what I call an acoustic trio set. It's just kind of a stripped down, you know, light drums and bass, uh, version of the acoustic versions. And speaking of that, there's also, um, not only evolution, but there's an acoustic album that accompanies that called acoustic evolution. It's all the same songs, um, stripped down with just me singing and an acoustic guitar. 
Um, so check that out on iTunes as well. Um, and we're really pushing people to, to go to our uh, Facebook page and like our Facebook page to stay up on news. I'm constantly posting uh, new stuff on there, news uh, as it becomes available, uh, uh, facebook.com slash second echo. Um, you can also follow on Twitter and Instagram at second echo music. All right, fantastic. So Rock Metal Nation, if you go to secondechomusic.com, you can definitely keep up to date with everything Second Echo, including an acoustic version of the Evolution album, which is just stripped down with vocals and acoustic guitar. So that's some really cool stuff that I know I'm going to take a listen to myself because I always appreciate uh, acoustic versions of great songs. At one point in time, somebody once said, if you can't do a campfire version, it ain't no good song. So, (laughs) can't remember... I agree, man. That's yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you know, so I can't remember exactly who told me that, but it was somebody who had actually worked with like Rob Zombie and some people who you wouldn't expect would have campfire songs, but uh, if it's not a, if you can't do it as a campfire song, it ain't no good song. So that was a cool thing to hear. So definitely secondechomusic.com. Also as well, you can head over to facebook.com slash second echo. Or if you're on Twitter and Instagram, you can go to at second echo music to stay up to date. So guys, unless there's anything else you'd like to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the rock metal podcast and sharing your creativity with rock metal nation. Thanks, John. It's been great. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, Rock Metal Nation, hope you just found your new favorite band in Second Echo. And a big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.